Hey guys, it's Parker here, back with part 8 of Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. So for this part, we'll be going to Oliver Park because this guy named Sneak asked us to meet us there. I mean to meet him there. So yeah. I really like the music for Oliver Park in this one. Oh, it goes like that. Anyway, let's try leveling up. Oh yeah, I also found out how to run. <laughs> like, after 10 hours of playing the game, I was just like, oh, I totally I'm forgot sorry. how to run, and now I remembered. It was sad. Anyway, <laughs> let's just level up, get some cards. You're wondering, perhaps? Oh, how depressing, oh no. <laughs> Alright, thanks to the cards! Call this the logical result. How do you know it was your soulmate? Um, you just feel it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Thanks for the cards. Daddy. Hey look, it's Jack Frost! I'm gonna try interviewing. I mean, talking to this guy. Fortune telling. Ho oh, ho! Is that ho? Oh. Yes, it is working on him. Your social skills provide you with many friends and comfortable surroundings. You're truly blessed. Bless Jack Frost. Is it really right? Ho 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 ho. Your need to self indulge and your gambling habit will keep you poor, but these things will also make you rich. Ah, oh, I have to go home now. We can meet again, okay, ho? But don't tell Papa, ho. If I'm nice to humans, he'll get mad at me, ho. Alright. Thanks, Jack Frost.
snake. There is no time. Just listen. I cannot reveal my identity now. As you know, the police and mafia are essentially being controlled by Tatsuzo's organization. Not just the police, the media, and even the giant companies have the roots of the New World Order spread around them. New World Order, you say? What is their objective? What is Tatsuzo planning? Obviously, you're skeptical, but I gave you all that I know. If you don't talk, then we'll just bust into the station to corner Shimazu and Tokashi. No! You alone are not capable of that. They are above the law. If we move now, we end up like your father. You know my father? They are still taking you lightly. I want you to find hard evidence of a conspiracy and exploit Tatsuzo. Not all the police and government are in his hands. There are people other than you who are investigating the organization. Currently, I'm the only one who knows this. Conspire with them and trade information. Here are photographs of them. Wait, I still need to ask. And he's gone. There are pictures here. Isn't this voyeurism? Um, it's just too fishy. I don't trust him. No, I think we could trust him. That was the voice of a man atoning for his sins. Well, how are we gonna find him with just these pictures? Ah, I got it. Just spread a rumor. So let's go to Kuzanoa. Alright. Off to the Kuzanoa Detective Agency. Wow, you're a pixie too? Nope. Uh, nice to meet you. So yeah, we got the pixie. Pixie is pretty useful. She could learn Megiddo. I am Hell. I am Dao. Thou art I. I shall send your enemies to Niflheim. Like I said, we don't even know their names. We should just learn out a rumor. I'm so smart. You say, but we don't know what kind of people they are. It's not right to spread rumors about people you don't even know. But it has to be interesting to people or it won't become a rumor. What kind of rumor are you going to use? Don't worry, I got it all planned out. A man or woman who has key information to this case will appear at Parabellum. So, if the two actually do show up, we have a picture of them, you know? Fool, that was sound like crazy. Like Amato said, the media's gonna jump all over it. <laughs> and I suppose you got a better idea? That's what I thought, you long-haired freak. <laughs> oh my god. So, what do you think, Maya? Okay. So if you pick, hmm, I'm not so sure, then she's gonna give you, Ulan is gonna give you 3,000 yen, so I'm just gonna pick this one. Hmm, I'm not so sure. You too? Fine, I'll pay for it. Nice. <laughs> Cause I do not, I do not have the money for that. Maya got 3,000 yen from Ulala. Cut the crap and just spread it. Okay. I, I did this because I didn't have the yen, wow. <sighs> Miss Sarazawa gets pretty hot-headed. I doubt we'll be able to talk her out of it, so I guess we have to try. Fine, I'll show you how Master Ulala handles the media. Okay. Hey, you sure about this? I have a bad feeling about this. I'll spread the rumor of the girl and the guy separately. Think about which one you want to meet. Okay, so for this one. Wait, let me just check these. Yeah, 
So for this one, you get to pick whether that individual is a man or a woman. And well, the man's story, um, the story becomes different if you if you choose each one. So for example, for the man, there's only like, there's only like two dungeons and one boss. And for the woman, there's like one dungeon, but there's five bosses. But their stories are very different. So um I'm just gonna go with the with the that individual is is allegedly a man because uh, I just want a simple dungeon with a simple simple boss. But if you guys do want me to do the woman's story, then you could just ask me and I'll just do a separate video for her story. So, anything else? Nope. So yeah, we have spread the rumor. Off to Parabellum. That's the media for you. Just like Maya said, they got ears everywhere. Hey, don't be a sore loser. You're the one who drew the short straw. This isn't my style. Why don't you get Suo to do this? Your style, huh? And what exactly is your style? You know what to do, right? Yeah, but... Anyway, let's talk about life or what to do with it. I thought I'd figure it out when I became an adult, but reality is harsh. I just got more confused. Why are you telling me this? I don't know, it's just that you seem to have a purpose. I was just wondering what kind of life you lived. It's getting chilly. You alright? Maya's alright. Are those people really going to come? If so, are those two gonna get it right? I'm worried. Let's think positive! Aw, Katsuya, don't blush. Man, that menu went by too fast, but yeah. Let's think positive! Uh, well, either way, we'll play it by ear. What's so funny? I know what you're thinking. I'm the guy who worries too much. I've always been like that. Do you get tired of who you are? I... I, I guess sometimes. I see. Life doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. At least for Tatsuya. Someone has appeared. How I chose to live has nothing to do with you. If you want sympathy, ask someone else. Eh, a motto? Where is that good for nothing little? She's not going after the scoop! 
Damn, get quick. There's nothing we can do now. Let's get this over with. Yeah, you think you're so smart? Well, mister, you got another thing coming. Well, you can just keep your damn secrets. You know, the world, whole world doesn't revolve around you. Those are some mad acting skills you got. Oh, okay then. You're too damn needy. That's why men always run away from you, you cross-dressing bitch. What? What did you just say? Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, girl, wash that shit. Are you still drunk? Oh, oh my god. I see how it is. I guess you want some more, huh? Oh my god, she's really punching him. No, no, a model said. Oh my god! Hey! Fight somewhere else, will you? The story is getting away! What? Where? Where? Oh my god, Baofu! <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Rest in peace, Baofu. It was nice knowing you. Manly man. Let them in. Oh wow, Baofu is okay. <laughs> you guys really put on a show. <laughs> Someone should have told her that she was supposed to be pretending. Crazy bitch. <laughs> They're sitting far away from each other on the couch. This is Nate Naojo. He has learned in this room and his friend, Ellen Kirishima. I've told them our story. Nice to meet you. I'm Nate Najo. He's from Persona 1. Nate Najo, son of the head of some of Japan's biggest companies, a Persona user who awakened as a result of the Sebek scandal. Nice to meet you. My name's Ellen. Ellen Hiroshima. Ellen Hiroshima, like Nate, she has awakened by a past incident. She is a big fan of the cult. She works as a model, but... So, why are you guys investigating the New World Order? Do you know a guy named Guy Shinjo? Just the name. He's Hatsuzo's secretary, but his orchestra and his details come up blank. He's like a shadow. The truth is that Shinjo might actually be Guido Kandori. It's a rumor circulating around poli political arenas. Kandori, aka Guido Sardinia, Sardinia, <laughs> the president of the Sebek Corp. Wasn't he responsible for the accident in Lunarville? Isn't he dead? That's what we thought. Four years ago, he plotted to destroy the world until we stopped him. While chasing the shadow of a dead man, you arrived at Tatsuzo, huh? The little girl over there, too? I was researching the relationship between the popular Wang Long fortunes and the case. Then, I ran into Nate by chance. But after listening to your stories, I realized that all the incidents are connected. It's obvious that the New World Order needs the Jokers for some reason. And the Joker craze has some tie-in to Wang Long. I wonder if they're using the readings to spread information rumors. They are creating jokers and sorting out people's fortunes, so the curse is used more. Sounds ridiculous, but look at it now. I see. There's nothing as inviolable as another person's good fortune, but why? That's something we should ask the head of the New World Order. The kidnapped jokers are supposedly taken to a nearby science laboratory. Shinjo goes in and out of there often. I got a hold of Wang Long Chizuru's schedule. She's filming a TV show later on today. We have to split up. It would be greatly appreciated if all of you could help. Ellen can handle the fortune teller on her own. Alright, leave the TV station to me.
I am Matsuoka. I must warn you. What Master Nain is doing has nothing to do with Nanjo. Remember this. Matsuoka, with a build body and a mean glare, he is Nate's rather rude bodyguard. He seems to be against Nate's actions. Of course, you will not speak of Master Nate's actions. If you do, you'll regret it. Do not forget that. Hey, Ellen. I'm worried about Mr. Kandori, but if fortune tellers mean views were evil, I can't let Wang Long Chizu get by with it. Normally, I wouldn't accept intervention by normal civilians, but I guess it's fine for Persona users. The laboratory has tight security, it's impossible to infiltrate from the ground, but there's a way in through the sewers. Let's go to the sewage plant. Okay. Wow, this is gorgeous. So this is the Hotel Pleiades penthouse. Rich people are different. Of course, Lala. Alright. And here we are. That was it for part 8 of Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.